Well, a whale once suspected to be a Russian spy has been found dead. And among the animal rights activists speaking out about the beluga's fate is a marine biologist from Norway who is currently in Cape Breton. CTV's Ryan McDonald caught up with her. He was a popular beluga with a whale of a name. Valdemir, a play on the Norwegian word for whale, and Vladimir Putin. The 14-foot-long, 2,700-pound marine mammal was first spotted off Norway wearing a camera harness labeled Equipment St. Petersburg. That sparked allegations that the beluga was a spy whale. Experts have said the Russian Navy is known to have trained whales for military purposes. Over the years, the beluga was seen in several Norwegian coastal towns, and it quickly became clear that he was very tame and enjoyed playing with people. On the weekend, though, he was found dead. It's no question that it's not a natural cause of death. Anna Victoria Pine Vinya is a research leader with One Whale, a group that was devoted to protecting Valdemir. Though she's from Norway, she was visiting family in Cape Breton when she heard about the demise of an animal she had interacted with closely over the years. There's no question that the animal's been shot. Necropsy photos show what appear to be bullet holes in the whale's body. For years, Vinya and her colleagues tried to push for Valdemir to be relocated because of the injuries they say he had suffered from human interactions. What I don't understand is other people who's been fighting for this animal to say he's safe and doing well where he's been at when even now being shot clearly shows it's uh, that's not the case. She feels the spread of misinformation played a role in keeping the whale where he was and contributed to his demise. It doesn't seem like people know how much harm that can cause by giving false information out there, which uh, hence, again, is what I believe is a lot of the reason to why Valdemir is dead right now. A whale of a tale that had a tragic ending, one she's speaking out about even from an ocean away. Ryan McDonald, CTV News, Myra, Nova Scotia.